Ah, yes, the dreaded pie shaped stairs. So, for all you DIY types out there, how the heck do you actually carpet these things and make them make sense? It's a little tricky if you've never done it before, but in this video, I hope to give you some clarity on this so you can go ahead and tackle this do it yourself project on your own. So, what's going on? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com, breaking down how to carpet pie stairs effectively, efficiently, and the best hack style possible so that you don't have to overthink this and you can get a beautiful result. So, first things first, we are are laying the pad on top of these two pie stairs here just covering the top of it nothing overlapping the sides here because we're going to do a Cadillac style and tuck it up under the lip here so I did the first one and on the second one here we're going to lay the scrap pad on top of it and it's not going to fit fully so we're going to go ahead and piece in a few sections of this but basically get it right up to the tack strips get it to the overhanging edge so we're good to go and then you can see where it actually came up short over here so I'm just going to grab a couple little scraps fill it in and that's the beauty of working with padding it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to cover what needs to be covered so you see the tack strip there and there's a little missing strip in between the two it's actually kind of important to fill that in because if you don't it'll get a dip over time from where your carpet is gapping on there and it looks horrific so you want to fill that in with pads so it's all even stevens everything's good to go watch your fingertips this is how you get a staple in the finger every single time not every single time but sometimes and none of the times is it fun so avoid doing that for sure anyway we're going to go ahead finish stapling this in and then we're going to go ahead and measure this out this is where everybody gets it confused so on this stair we're going to go from left to right on the edge here furthest point to furthest point and i'm pulling these numbers out of a hat here but i think it was like four feet six inches that way now you want to go from the peak or the point of the stair and this is some shoddy camera work because i gotta do it all myself here but basically from that point directly down the center over the lip and i think that was like two feet five inches there so and we're just cutting them so it wraps right up under the lip we are not worried about the risers in this video for simplicity we'll do a separate piece for that and believe it or not it's easier to do two pieces especially if you're a newbie or diy type so we're measuring over our four feet six inches on the carpet here we're going to pick up the width of the two feet whatever i had said and i'm going to trace a line on the backing now if you're not used to doing this just grab a straight edge and measure off your two feet whatever and run that all the way down till it meets the four six point and you got this long rectangle which seems excessive but it is what it is it's absolutely how you cut them so that's what you got to work with so we're going to lob that off there finish off the cut going the other way and like i said all the lines on the back of the carpet i just trace one of those and we're good to go boom all right, let's get back over the stair here and start getting this thing installed. So here is this gigantic rectangle that we're going to have tons of waste from. Don't worry, that's just how it goes. And we're going to go ahead and get it rough lined up all the way around, making sure from left to right we have a couple inches up each side so we got something to cut off. And I'm wrapping it over the edge and stapling it up under the edge with my electric tacker there to secure it into place. This is how we want to kind of get it held for us so we can go ahead and start shaping everything out start stretching it in and get that final product so we'll finish off that lip there once we're good to go from left to right we'll start cutting it down and whittling away at all this excess here so we could stretch it on and finish the step get rid of this triangle we're going to get rid of this triangle eventually maybe there we go now grab your kicker and we are going to go ahead and start stretching from the middle and then from side to side so let's go ahead and start here start right at that peak boom lock that on right there so you're pulling out most of the slack then we're going to fan off to the right pull all the slack out that way once we get all that locked down we're going to go ahead and crease it on to ensure that it's in place and we're good to go now you can do this two different ways you could either trim and tuck right now or you can finish stretching everything on just in case you have any hiccups and you got to go back and stretch again but with this one we're going to go ahead and trim and tuck so it's good, it's locked on, everything's ready to rock. Once I have it tucked and in place, we're gonna go ahead and stretch on the left side of this so we have everything secured, no bubbles, everything's tight, and we're good to go. So starting from there, working our way up to the middle now, pulling out any and all slack. We're gonna crease it on, and I'm just using a stair, or I'm sorry, a hook knife for this, but you could also use a stair tool. A lot of people are more inclined to do that. You're less likely to shred your hands using a stair tool. I'm just on a hook knife kick, so that's how I roll. Now we're going to go ahead and tuck all that in once we get rid of that excess there. And you see the riser there that's exposed. We will just cut a separate piece for that and stick that in there. It's actually really easy to do. So that one's done. Let's measure the next one. That's 2 feet 10 inches left to right, I believe. 
This is the number I'm guessing on. I'm going to say it was like three feet, two inches. That's what we're going to go with for this video here. So we got our measurements, the width and furthest point going over the lip. There's our 210 right there. Mark that so we're good to go. And now we're going to go ahead and measure over three feet, six inches. And that's basically the balance of this roll. So we're good to go with that. So we just have to lob this off straight down. So we have another nice rectangle to work with here. So now that we're good, we take it back over to this piece. And once again, tons of excess. Don't overthink it. Just take your time lining everything up from the side net wall and enough to go over the lip to go ahead and tack that and stretch it on. And then once all that's set, start lobbing everything off so you have a manageable piece to work with and get it stretched on. Get your tacker, you wanna secure it over the lip once again. Some crappy camera work on this, but hey, you gotta deal with that when you're doing it all on your own. Staple it up under the lip here. Make sure it's nice and secured, you're good to go. And you can always peek up under it. You'll see little bubbles if you had missed any. Just fill them in with staples, not a big deal, nothing to be concerned about. Grab the kicker, start pulling all that slack out to that tack strip there, locking it into place. You see what we got going on here. So on the right hand side, you can see we have a net wall there. So we're just going to tuck that on. Good to go. We stretched everything on the length. And then we'll give it a little tap to the right just to make sure it's secured on the tack strips. And then this one will get trimmed, tucked, and good to go. Really simple. So that's all there is to this here. If you have any questions about doing custom stairs, pie stairs, any type of carpet stairs, go ahead and comment below. I'll create a follow-up video answering any questions for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll connect with you on the next video.